So I stopped filming a little bit back because I was running into trouble with this tool in general. Uh, I figured the first time I tried it out that, oh, maybe my angle on the chisel was a bit too steep. So I backed it down to about 45 degrees uh, and that didn't seem to fix it. So then I figured, oh, my first wedge was wrong and didn't create a nice enough seal. And whenever I changed the angle, I needed to change the wedge. So I made a second wedge out of walnut. And then whenever I tried to use the rabbit plane, the force from shaving off or taking shavings was kicking the chisel back out. Uh, so that was useless. I figured, oh, well, maybe the wood was too hard. So I took out some cherry instead of walnut and made another wedge. Same problem. Maybe cherry's too hard. And I took out some pine, did the same thing. No improvements. And in the last time, whenever I was stress testing, I managed to break the handle that I made for this chisel. So I'm gonna call that one kind of done. My best guess at this point is because this chisel itself, the actual uh, blade of it is so short uh, that the static friction from created with the wedge in this form factor is just not enough to actually maintain the strength needed to keep the tool together. Uh, a lot of videos I've seen on creating rabbit planes or otherwise they've been about honestly like twice as tall. So I'm going to chop this one up to just not having the right shape. I'll probably kick this thing around, keep it here as a reminder because I do really like the design uh, I thought it was a really good piece and had a lot of hope for it, but this one's a failure. That's really all I can say about it.